A choice is a component that displays a list of items for selection with a mouse. Inside the program, there are two ways to find out which one has been selected. You can have the choice component report to you immediately, or you can go read the information when the user presses a button. This program shows you how to do both. Now this frame implements two interfaces. The action listener we know about, it's the one that's necessary to receive events from a button. The item listener is required for an object to be notified when a new selection has been made in a choice component. Here we declare a reference to two labels. One label will display the text of each item as it's selected, and the other will display the text after it's been extracted from the component. The reference to the choice object is here, so we can get the information from it in another method. This is the construction of the panel that's going to hold the components. The first component in the panel is a label named Select Label. It will display the text of each selection as it is made from the choice pull-down list. Here the new choice object is constructed and its add item method is called once for each text string to be used in the selection. The choice component is then added to the panel the same as any other component. We then create a button called report and it's added to the panel. Then we create and add another label called report label and add it to the panel. Whenever this button is pressed, the report label will be updated with the text of the currently selected item from the choice list. Here are the methods that are required by the interfaces. The first one is the action performed method, which is the one we've been using all along to respond to button presses. In this one, we extract the identifying string, the action command string, from the event to make sure it's the report button. Of course, in this example, there's only one button, so it'll always be the report button. Anyway, the get selected item method of the choice component is called to return the currently selected string, and the string is then passed on to the set text method of the label. This is the new method. This is the item state changed method required by the item listener interface. Now this method is called with an item event object from the choice component every time a new selection is made by the mouse. The get source method of the event returns the address of the component originating the event, so we can use it to determine where the event came from. If it came from our choice component, then we know that a new selection has been made and the get selected item method of the choice component is called to retrieve the string. The string it returns is used to set the text of the label. Here's what happens when we run the program. The choice component manages a pull-down window and works like this. Note that the moment a selection is made, the item state changed method is called and the label is updated immediately. On the other hand, the label on the right has not been updated yet. Pressing the button will cause the text of the current selection to appear in that label. These two modes of reading data from the screen are available for all components that accept user input. In some applications, you may want to have your program act like an HTML page and allow all the fields and data selections to be completed and then have your software read the whole thing and check it. In other cases, you may want to check each item for validity while the user is entering the data. I find that I tend to do a little bit of both. For example, if the user is entering dates or something, you can check for a valid format as it's being entered. And then, when the OK button is finally pressed, you can check to see the dates or whatever the data is are in the correct order or within the range you need or as compared to one another. Where you check it depends on what you are trying to check.